Wow, I feel so far away. But I did zoom in, so who knows? If I'm close, I apologize. But I ain't fixing this camera no more, okay? Okay. <laughs> um, hello, everyone. How is everyone today? I already have my milk and magnesia on, which I use for my primer. Um, but today, <coughs> I'm a little under the weather. But I wanted to do a chit chat, get ready with me. Let's get started. Okay. <coughs> so I'm very excited. Um, I haven't announced this. Well, I don't know how to do this. Okay. So there's some products that I pretty much already ordered and some products that I'm still testing out and um, planning on ordering. So I'm just going to use a few of those products and some same old, same old products. <laughs> and yeah, pretty much. Should I mix these? These Club Pop Foundations. Lit. Okay. I was thinking I wanted to try the Becca Foundation. But I was thinking, I was like, Color Pop works just fine. And it's like literally, how much is this? Six dollars? And Becca's like, what? One of those higher end brands. I'm like, Tiffany, what are you like? Why is this even debatable? <laughs> But Becca looks like a really good, good coverage, good match type of foundation, you know? So what is new in the streets? I honestly <coughs> have been, like, so into, like, sampling everything and, like, getting different products and trying different products for my brand. Like, I haven't really been in tune with like makeup releases i haven't really been buying makeup why not invest in yourself you know what i mean especially if you are interested in starting a makeup brand or company um you know it is good to have like you know buy well, it is good to like buy different makeup products and like kind of compare them like compare and contrast to what you want to sell to see if it's going to be up to par with what's like hot and popping um but you know other than that i just i don't know i want to show you guys these products and things that I have been working on so bad. But I, I want to wait until everything comes in. So I can do, you know, just like a big reveal instead of like piece by piece. I don't know. Let me know what you guys. So let's talk about some makeup releases. Um, Jaclyn Hill Morphe Vault collection thing. I was so, like, interested in getting that when it first, first launched. <coughs> or when they first, first started talking about it. Um, but then, of course, seeing, like, some reviews of people who had it in PR said it was patchy, yada, yada, yada. So, they pretty much snagged the whole launch and then, I guess, worked on some stuff and then relaunched it. That, I don't know. I commend Morphe for, like, you know, knowing that something was wrong snatching the launch and you know redoing it but that to me for some reason because i was so hyped to get it and try it and all that stuff <clears throat> when they did that it just kind of turned me off from wanting to get the product i don't know did anybody else feel like that or was it just me <laughs> um i literally just i don't know it just hurt me off from wanting to get it because I was so excited and then it was like oh well we're not launching it now but we're gonna recreate it and make it better and I was like eh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I want it anymore <laughs> even though they were gonna make it better but then I started once they relaunched it and seeing reviews that it was still patchy and it wasn't all that great and then it, it was a whole bunch of mixed reviews some said it was good some said it wasn't so I was like okay I'm just not gonna spend my money on this <clears throat> But I was really interested in getting it. Um, <clears throat> you know, just things happen, you know. So Kylie literally comes out with some kind of set collection literally every week. <laughs> I 
I guess it kind of keeps you on your toes. Like, what is she coming out with this week? But, like, girl, it's just a bit much. Like, I can't keep up. And these people, you know, just can't keep spending their coins on this stuff that comes out every week. You got to pick and choose what you want to buy. And then, <clears throat> I see on Tree Mood a lot where people are like, okay, well, then she just come out with something next week, yada, yada. And I totally agree. Like, a lot of launches could just, like, it's just like, okay, let me just take a step back from this brand because they're going to release this, this, and this. And, you know, but some people were just complaining like, well, you don't have to buy it. You don't have to like this post. You don't have to do this. It's just like, be quiet. Can we not complain? Like, <laughs> like, just let us complain in, well, not peace, but let us complain, okay? If she come out with something every week, we want everybody to know. My brows look crazy. And that's just how I feel about it. Yeah, we don't have to buy it, but we can still add. I mean, you know, we all have our opinion. That's what this page is here for. Our opinion on these collections and makeup that's coming out. So I thought that was kind of like funny. <laughs> so coming out, they're always complaining that yada, yada, yada. It's like, okay, let us complain, sis. Like, you don't have to... You don't have to look at our comment. Just keep scrolling. You know what I mean? Which I don't really leave comments or anything anyway, but. So this new Rihanna collection, I think it's like a holiday collection. It's like all glitter and whatnot. <coughs> um, not a fan. I thought I would be here for Fenty Beauty, and I think a lot of people are here for Fenty Beauty because it's by Rihanna, and everybody admires and loves Rihanna. Um, which is, you know, I mean, support your fave, of course. Um, but none of her launches have interested me. Interest, interest me. Am I saying that right? Um, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. I don't, I like glitter and sparkle and stuff, but not a ton of it. Like, not a whole collection of it. Um... Yeah, no, like, no. Okay, where was that at? As far as Kylie's, like, <clears throat> I think her brand is getting a lot better. It did start off a little rocky, a little iffy, but I haven't purchased anything from Kylie's brand either. Just because, I don't know, her price points aren't there for me. Pop literally launches something like every Thursday. Thursdays are the days that they launch. Um, like when they're coming out with something, they usually launch it on a Thursday. They literally come out with something every Thursday. <laughs> like, Colourpop is so overwhelming sometimes, you know? And I love, oh my God, I love Colourpop to death. If you guys know, like, my dream is to, like, collab with them and have... You know, like this this whole collections, palette, lip glosses, um, ultra satins, you know. Like I love ColourPop just because number one, they're affordable, low affordability, and their products are like high quality, better than some of these high end brands. <coughs> I just love it. But when I tell you <laughs> They literally come out with something every week. They literally come out with something every week. I'm so like, okay, you can slow down now, you know, like I think you have enough stuff that we can we can we can we can buy and use for a long time now. But uh, um, I think that brand is a on-trend brand. So whatever's like trending or very popular, they're going to try to do. And, you know, the makeup game is always changing. So you kind of like, if you really want to be the top brand, then you have to kind of stay afloat to all of the trends and stuff. So, I mean, that's what they're doing, you know. Oh, my ear is ringing. I haven't done that forever. What does that mean? I'm kind of scared because it's still ringing. That's crazy.
I forgot I had this over here. So they recently came out with, I think, the foundation sticks. I mean, I'm not really, I like liquid foundation. Not a fan of the sticks. I think the sticks are good for like contouring and things like that. Um, and I think they're only six dollars, which is really good. But I've I've kind of been kind of over color pop lately. Like I usually I used to buy like everything they came out with. I feel like, but now it's just like okay, well they'll just come out with something next week. So why even bother like dwelling on this, you know? And that could be a good thing, and that could be a bad thing, you know. Hope one day I can get to the point where I can release stuff every day and produce stuff and have enough quantity for people and you know that's the goal to be like a pop <laughs> not be like them, but just be able to release stuff, have my own labs, and create my own products that would that's like the ultimate goal. So for my foundation, I'm using the ColourPop No Filter foundation. It's actually really bomb. It's only six dollars. Um, brow product I used was my own. So I'll have that coming out really soon. Hopefully my brows look good. You guys think they look, <laughs> but. <coughs> Brows is one of those things you just apply and keep it moving. That's 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 kind of what I figured out. This Christy Teigen, I think her how you say her last name is Tigan. Like really, but she doesn't correct anybody. Christy Teigen and Becca, why did they keep collabing? I'm I'm not understanding. Like, like who is she? Like I know she I guess was a model or something, but it's just like. Who was she to be collabing with Becca on, like, how many? This is, what, round three? <sighs> three collabs of, like, the same stuff. Lip glosses, highlighter, powder. Like, did she come out with a whole, like, highlighting, bronzing palette? Like, just come out with the same stuff. Like, I wish some of these people, some of these brands would just find other influence, like, if you sit on Instagram all day, you will find so many different influencers. Like, not even, like, women of color, but just, like, amazing artists that, I won't say don't get credit, but that deserve these opportunities, you know? And it's just, like, you're just using the same few people. I mean, I get it. If these people are bringing you, bringing your money company, you're going to keep using that same person. But, like, after a while, like, come on now. It's kind of like with Morphe and Jacqueline Hill, like, can we get somebody else to collab with? I would love to see that. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, isn't Jacqueline Hill doing some kind of sunglasses collab? Uh, not interested in that. With Quay Australia. I think their shades are really expensive. I don't even know how much her collection is supposed to be. But I know with Dizzy Perkins. The shades were like. At least $60-$70 a piece. A bit much. Just a bit much. Pretty much they're all $65. The shades. $65 for a pair of sunglasses. I'm just not, I'm just not buying it. Like, <laughs> I don't believe anything got that much quality that it's going to cost you $65 for a pair of sunglasses. I just don't believe it. I'm using ColourPop Snow Filter Concealer in the shade Deep Dark 52. I don't like to go too light. Maybe just a shade lighter. My foundation just cause I'm not a super dramatic type of gal, you know. 
I need something to cover these circles. KKW Beauty did this whole colorful thing. Pressed powder pigments and loose powder pigments. Super expensive. <laughs> For her, I guess, like a birthday collection. Uh, I wasn't interested. Like, a lot of this makeup nowadays, just, it just... I used to be really excited for something to launch, you know? It's just like, nowadays, you just gotta be, like, excited about who's launching what. Like, if you like the brand, or they're collabing with somebody that you, like, support, <coughs> that's what kind of... What is up with this smudge? That's what kind of, um, I guess, gets sales nowadays. Because it's not the actual product. It's who's promoting it. Who do you trust? You know, it's just, that's, that's how it goes now. Look, these were really expensive. So, the pressed powder pigments, pretty much one little eyeshadow, is $21 a piece. <laughs> And then the loose powder pigments are seventeen dollars. Girl, it's a hot mess. Rihanna's coming out with fairy bomb shimmer powders in three shades. Mm -hmm. I'm not super interested. So it's pretty much like you know the big little bomb thing she had. Everybody was complaining about it, so she's just doing like a powder. Well, not a powder, but she's just doing like something like this now. Um, instead of having the big ball, just cool, I guess. I don't have anything wet, so let's hope this look looks okay today. And usually, my sponge is wet when I'm applying powder, but yeah, that's life. Well, well, it has new highlighters, I think. Yeah. Huda Beauty and her new nudes palette. Ugh, it's just super pastel. Like, it would look good on lighter skin tones. I don't know how it would particularly look on women of color, but uh, I don't. I don't really like the palette. KO Polish has Zodiac nail polishes now. Do they change? I don't know. I guess astrology is this like big thing now. I mean, I guess. <sighs> I get my nails done, so I'm not a huge. And so pretty much what Kylie's doing is relaunching palettes. Like, doesn't she have anything better to do? So, it's the Peach Palette Extended. What kind of mess? There's three new shades and a new matte formula. Why not just create a whole new palette? I don't know. So, there's a peach one and a burgundy one. So, <coughs> I know the burgundy one was like nine. A little nine palette shadows. This one, I don't know. I don't feel like counting. But there's more than nine. <laughs> I think it's already launched. I'm super late. Anyway, um, the Peach probably had like a blue in there or something. But anyways, I don't know what she's doing. So anyway, um, The Warrior 2 by Juvia's Place. Um, I feel like I've gotten all the palettes I need from Juvia's Place. The last palette I got was the Abra, I have no idea, Arab chic palette and it's literally still sitting in the box so <laughs> like I used to be excited for like new launches and get to play in makeup and do videos and review it for you guys and all that stuff but literally some of these palettes just aren't that interesting to me anymore like literally <laughs> that the last palette that I bought from Juice Place is still sitting in the box and I will more than likely give it away or, you know, do a giveaway, and that'll be the palette I give away. Well, I'll give away multiple palettes, but you know what I mean. Because it's just sitting in the box. Like, I have not touched it. 
So KKW Body Fragrance is coming out with those little naked, well, well yeah, I guess, naked body um, perfumes, November 2nd, which I thought she already came out, but maybe she's using, I don't know, the same bottle, different fragrance, who knows. Jeffree Star has an alien palette, it looks really cool, I haven't seen the inside. I love how creative he is with his brand. I really do. Okay, so there's pretty much an eyeshadow palette. I've, I've tried a couple times here on my channel. But then I also ran into this company where I ordered pretty much all their shadows. And I create, of course, my own palette and things like that. Which is more of what I would like to do. But the price <laughs> is really pricey. Um, where'd that thing go? It's really pricey to do that. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. So it's using a brown. And just, I guess, to like a, a brown smoky. I'm literally sitting up here. <laughs> Doing my makeup, about to fall asleep, you guys. Like, literally, that's how sleepy I get. And I am pre diabetic, so I do get tired really quick, really easy. I am. I'm working on trying to lose weight, eat better, eat healthier, because I do not want to go through having diabetes. My grandma has diabetes, and I see her struggle with it. Well, not, I mean, I used to see her struggle with it. She has both of her legs amputated, and it's just really scary to think about, like, this could be my life, you know what I mean? And being that she's my mom's mom, it, like, you know, runs in the family, you know, being that it runs in the family, I need to be more cautious. You'd think I would be more cautious, but I don't know. Food is so good. Just need to become more active. So there we go. A really, really, really quick smoky brown. Um, Beauty Bakery is, I think, now. In Ulta stores, which is awesome. It is a black owned business, and I have to support. I haven't, I've been on the website, but <sighs> I haven't purchased, purchased anything. Her prices, honestly, to me, are a little pricey. Um, <clears throat> but I think what makes them pricey is the packaging and everything that she uses because she's so creative with. Well, her team or whoever is so creative with the packaging. It's just like, dang, like, okay. Let's hype that up to more dollars, you know. So, yeah, that's pretty much where I am with that. And this is how I do my, um, my, um, what am I trying to say? My goodness, my lash glue. I just take the applicator, if it's a brush on applicator, and I just apply it right to my lash line. I'm going to be wearing more life. <clears throat> more life. Okay, lashes are on. They look like two totally different lashes because I applied them differently because I use my hands to apply them, which could be why they look, well, it is the reason why they look crazy. Um, but whatever. That's how I'm feeling about it. New highlighters coming soon, maybe. <laughs> okay, um, I like using highlighter brushes, but we're also gonna try a uh, fan brush. So let's go. Yes. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Oh, wow. Alright, and then last but not least, some glitter gloss. I won't be launching this right away, but... If so... Nice. Alright. I want you to myself, but I know that I'm gonna lose Um, I'm gonna use this champagne gold for the inner corner. I think that's gonna work. Probably should have put this on my um, cheek. Sorry guys, I'm about to throw on some hair and some clothes and yeah, I'll be right back. BRB. So here is the final look, you guys. Literally, I'm about to just go get something to eat, go look for some shoes, come back home, maybe do a couple of videos um, that I've been needing to do for a while. And yeah, pretty much. I really want to take these lashes off because they're not matching. But do I really care that much? I'm a little iffy. I'm a little iffy. But this highlighter. Let me know what you think of this highlighter. And the gloss and the brows. And we already know about the lashes. Um, the shadow. I just did a brown. <coughs> Because those are things that will be coming to a website near you. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited. This gloss is everything. The gloss will definitely come at a later date the, like to produce these. Manufacture them. You know what your label on them costs a lot money a lot of money um so those will come at a later date but i really 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 like that gloss um a couple other glosses that i'm testing out um so yeah that's everything you guys thanks for tuning into this chit chat get ready with me about the makeup releases and makeup unreleases and then make up relaunches releases again. <laughs> so I don't know. Anyways, thank y'all for tuning in. I love you all so, so much. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, see y'all.